What's up YouTube? This is a quick how-to video on how to find a Google image and change your desktop background or your springboard background to it on your iPad. So right here, go on to Safari. And then when you're in Safari, you want to go to Google. google.com and up here you see it says images touch that Let's say you want to find some fish I type in fish I like to do HD so you know it's gonna be a clean picture and it'll automatically do the caps if you press space then hit enter or return and here's all these pictures and it tells you the sizes you want to find big sizes like we'll do this the clownfish one here touch that up here it says see full size image touch that see that's 2560 by something. Let's see this one. Oops. Uh oh. Sorry, I accidentally touched something. Okay, so then I'm gonna go with this. Alright, so there's the picture right there. Just hold your finger on it. It says save image. Touch that. Now you can close out of Safari by hitting your home button here. Now you go to photos right here you'll see oops it must not have saved it dang it hold on I gotta go back to that okay touch this then save image then close it back to photos now, see, I must not have touched it good enough. So there's your picture. Touch your picture. Now you see up here in the top right corner, the little forward symbol. Ugh, sorry, I keep touching stuff. Touch that. And then it says use as wallpaper. Use it as wallpaper. It just made it fit the whole screen. Now, if you see right here, you can set it to your lock screen, you can set it to your home screen, or you can set as both. So if you set this as your home screen, it'll be behind all your apps when you unlock it. If you set it as your lock screen, it'll be on the little slide to unlock screen. And if you set it as both, it's going to be both. So you could set two different wallpapers, one for the lock screen and one for the springboard. So I'm just going to set it as the home screen. So now that it's shrunk like that a little bit, that tells you that it's set. See, so now there's all my apps with the little clownfish behind it. Alright, uh, it's just really easy to do. Just make sure you find nice HD. I always like to type in HD in Google Images because you're going to get cleaner, better pictures. And you could pretty much search for anything in the world you can think of. You might have to do a little bit of searching 
for something you like, but you'll definitely find it. Uh, any picture on any website or anything will work as long as you hold your finger on the picture and it says save image like I showed you. And you save the image and then go into your photos and it'll be in there. These are a couple I was checking out. Um, that's like a rolly dotted thing. And then that's a bridge with cars streaking across. Alright, well thanks for watching. Like this video. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.